Welcome back, my friends, to this subterranean temple of Woodica, where we've met a group of ad of adventurers, or rather, Woodica's judges, who instantly attacked us. Well, that went well, for us at least. Let's see what they had and what's hidden there. Fine plate armor, exceptional stuff, battle axes, swords, flails even, exotic weapons, and a book, Gulforic's Journal. Let's read this, because that was, that was uh, the most dangerous of them. Second of Forniverno, 2827, the new year is come. The time for reflection, beginnings and endings. Here I am, an aged man of 60 years, retired from the services of the Steel Garoti. I have no family of which to speak, no teethers bind me to this life, but those that bind me to my brothers in the Order. In the tradition of the new year, I wonder, will I spend my twilight years in swift decline, waiting only to feel the pallid night's touch upon my cheek. No, for decades, veterans of the Garoti have traded tales of a legendary mace said to be blessed by Woodica herself. What I would give to behold, but one thing touched by the hands of the exiled queen. I will embark on my final quest. I will gather my brothers, find the mace, and with it a pride that will buoy me to end my days, so be it. First in Prima, 2827, long we have journeyed, my brothers and I. I begin to wonder if this was a fool's errand, an old man's last grasp at the glory of boyhood tales. We left Edir in good spirits, on a boat bound for the dead fire. Our good cheer has fled, yet still we are on this cursed boat. Were the legends a lie, cud for old soldiers to chew? Fodder for talk of remember when and the good old days. I wake in the night, thinking I have heard the sound of Weimark's familiar drunken stumble into the barracks, but it is only the groan of the ship or a deck door swung open and slamming in the wind. I miss the comforts of the Garotti's lair, a roaring fire, strong beer, a tale or two among friends. Will I ever know those comforts again? 17th Majestu, 2827. The tide has turned in our favor. Ulfric muscled the tip from a skittish fisher boy in port. There is an ancient shrine on nearby island, the boy said, and none from his town will venture within a hundred yards of it. Expecting little more than a benighted ruin, we dropped anchor just off its coast and rowed ashore. And what, we sh what should we find but a shrine dedicated to the queen that was, and her mace of legend? The mace itself is exquisite, a marvel of craftsmanship. It will look magnificent above the mantle in the Garotis hideaway. Ah, how my eyes burn to imagine the tales they will tell of us. We have decided to rest here for the night and feast on our remaining hard tack and jerky. Tomorrow. We begin our journey home. Surely Woodica herself guides our path. And only one day later, on the 18th of Majestu, 2827, I cannot remember the last time I have slept so well. Not on the boat, not in the barracks, not even in my own bed as a boy. Perhaps it is the presence of the shrine that soothes me. Indeed, these past few hours I have known only the peace a man might find in commun communion with his god. My brothers and I have decided to remain here for another night. We are old and we are weary, and we all find comfort in the presence of the exiled queen. This is a safe place. Certainly we will find no trouble here. <laughs> Can we see the date somewhere? Yeah. What? It's the 15th of Majestu. <laughs> uh, oh well. That didn't work so well, eh? And now where is where is that that writ that strange thing? Let's see. Uh, some things here. Yeah, we found Goldfork's journal, but 
We didn't find the maze, or did we? No. We did not. What's here? I'll see it done. Where's that maze? A cave in has rendered these doorways impassable. And there's oh, there's more. Let's see what's in there. An exceptional arquebus. Oh, that's surely fine things here. Oh yeah. And here. Exceptional hunting bow. I really like this. I think we only have a fine hunting bow on, on someone still. And there there's this hidden thing, a storm toxin. Some golden obels. And there's some more dead people here. The better part of valor. Let's be very careful because that could as well be a trap. Why did they die here? Some fine stuff. Nothing else? I mean, Woodika is also the goddess of forgive. Oh! Look at this! Yeah, now this seems to be the mace. The statue of Woodika. There's an exquisite mace in its hand. The presence in the mace reaches out to touch your mind. The presence you first encountered when you entered the ruins. Let's examine the mace. What is this thing? <laughs> That's our our intelligent sword. Mordor makes heaving sounds as if it's eaten something foul. What happened? That thing, whatever it is, it's stupid. Really, really stupid. And disgusting. Mordor's hilt runs hot. The mace's leather-wrapped hilt is curiously untouched by age. Its head is fashioned from a dark metal and radiates a cruel and biting cold. Once again, the presence reaches for you, grasping at your mind with claws, sharp and relentless as a bird of praise. Examine the statue. Statue's stone is dappled with rot and riven with age. It must have been placed here long ago. <sighs> I mean, it, it seems a stupid idea to grab the mace, but we're just so curious. You find the mace painfully cold to the touch. Presence inhabiting it probes at the edges of your mind, searching for cracks in your mental defenses. We close off our mind. You attempt to steel yourself against the presence in the mace, but it won't be deterred. It latches onto your mind like a leech. The mace floods you with a desire to remain near the statue and protect it, even at the cost of your life. <clears throat> yeah, we should take it with us, right? Should we? We should, we should certainly try. I mean, it seems an evil maze, but maybe we can destroy it. Reach for the maze. A surge of power compels you to leave it where it lies. You are helpless to resist. All right, okay. Maybe with someone with better resolve. Adonan. How resolvent are you? I'll take care of this. Can someone I mean we could let the maze continue. Since the maze wishes for you to stay and protect it. No, you'll wanna take it. But we cannot, it seems. Of course. I'm here. <sighs> Maybe if Adonan alone does it? I'll handle this. Yeah, okay. Seems like this is not ours to take. Indeed. Then we'll go. Turn away from the statue, not keen to meddle with a malignant presence you don't understand. Anyways, we got something. This seems to be untakeable, at least by us, at least by us. Or on the other hand, 
Is there something we could maybe do to increase our resolve? Ah, we found something. Now, um... The island of Woodika's malignant mace. Ah. Isle. The Isle of Woodika's malignant mace. Let us see. Do we have something that would increase our resolve a bit, maybe? Caltrops, Firebrand, Ray of Fire. Mm. Don't you have like a potion of resolve or something? Potion of impediment, no. Resilient body? Mm. Maybe something of this. Oh, Ripple Sponge. Mm. Ripple Sponge, maybe. That increases resolve. What else do we have? Coral Snuff. No, no. Circle of protection. Eight defenses. All defenses against mind affliction. Maybe two, but it seems to be something affecting resolve. Oil of allure. Hmm. Ten will. It specifically says. Resolve. Intellect. Immune to hangovers. Well, that's a kind of resolve. <laughs> we'll certainly try. We have to. We have to look. These things don't have resolve or something like this. I think. Hmm. Let's see. That gives us one resolve already. What stories? Resistance to resolve afflictions? But it's a head thing! Ah, we can't take it on. Shore walker sandals. We have these already. Nothing much here. No resolve. Maybe here. The ring of the solitary wanderer. Mm hmm. By fortitude, Gorn's pledge. Oh well. Mm. You'll get that thing. Hmm. Mm. What do we have here? I mean the drug and this. Let's go. We have to go back. Have to try it. <sighs> we cannot give up like this. Must take the mace. Must steel ourselves against it. 
Now can we, we could cast something that would give us resolve, right? But only in combat. Blessing. Holy meditation, prayer for the spirit. Strong. Protection, could we? We can't just do this in combat mode, I guess, so... We could make some food that would give us resolve, too. Ah. Can we get some food? Potions. We have the potions. Um, defensive potions. Resilient body. Mm, soul essence? No. Final stand. Attuned self. No, no, we need resolve. E everything else will not work. Anything else. Alright. Uh, food. Very positive food. Candied nuts. Honey, wine. Might. Forgetful night. Food special. Corpse loaf. <laughs> what? <laughs> the forbidden flesh pie. Oh, I don't know. Uh, food positive. Fried ugly. Oh, that gives us resolve. Indeed. Cuppa cup tea. Yeah. <laughs> we want the cuppa tea, please. Ah, oh, seafood stew. Fried ugly. Craft one fried ugly. Incredible. Mm. Captain's banquet. Oh, we've got the drugs. Let's see. Ripple sponge. That's what we already have. Ah, elemental damage, offense, damage, healing and support. Prayer for something. That doesn't help. Unique. Blackwood Hull. What? Okay. Not enough money to craft the Blackwood Hull. And of course, also not in enough logs. So, now, mm, we've got that food now. Is this under ingredients? No, it will be under, I don't know, potions maybe? Where's that one new food? Here it is. Can we just eat it? Or do we have, we have to rest probably. Okay. Okay, you know what? We'll rest. Egg, no egg, no egg, no egg. You will get the fried ugly. And the rest of our people will have, I don't know, heart attack, I don't know. The rest. They rested as well. What will happen to us now? Are we taken by this strange presence? And now... Um, ripple Sponge. Yes? Give me my daily Ripple Sponge. Grab the mace. You find the mace painfully cold to the touch. Close off your mind. Dedicate all your concentration on blocking the mace efforts to get its hook into your mind. We'll take the mace. You crush what remains of the mace's will. Lift it from the statue. At a last flutter of emotion passes from the mace and into you. Despair. What? 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> the maze is desperate because we've taken it. Now let's see. The Magistrate's Cudgel. Exceptional weapon. One hand it's so bound and it has a face. Let's have a look. Mm hmm. Ha very high penetration. It's crushing damage. One handed soul bound mace. Marked for judge. Marked for five rounds on scoring hit plus 10 accuracy against tar targets affected by judged effects. Oh, okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So if you repeatedly attack with this, it will be extremely good. Binds with Cypher, Fighter, Monk. So we can use this or. Um, Adonan will be able to use this. Excerpt from Charter regarding the establishment of municipal domains and the appointment of their respective magisters. Under the right and natural guidance of the Ferkernig, divinely appointed ruler of the Empire of Adir and beloved of Wudika, long may he reign, penned by Quinn Witha, Sin Merdu, agent of the court. Let it be known that enclosed with this document bearing the seal of the beloved Ferkernig is the instrument of which the document speaks. In light of the recent misguided rebellion of the Dear Wooden Colony, the Imperial Ministry sees fit to coalesce the functions of the Colonial Court of Judges into a single office. Here too, the officer of the court shall, with the full authority of the Imperial Ministry, assume the rank and privileges of Magistrate of the Court for a term office to be determined by said Ministry. Cool. So we have, we've bound the soul to Modwear. We can, I mean, that could be the third one we, we bind the soul to, right? I mean, it's a mace. It's not a hammer. We might give it to him. Let us see. Hmm. Sword, unfortunately. We'll we'll have to we'll have to wait what with this. I'll take care of it. A little bit to see if we can fit something in. But we've got that mace now. What's it called again? The Magistrate's Cudgel. With the help of all we could. We took it. From the hands of Wodika. Never surrender. Never give up. You can get resolve if you just rest well, eat well, and uh, take some little helpers. Also, our quest was updated. Let's see. Um, so we found a significant island. Now let's see where that is. Mm. I think it was in in Nekitaka, right? No. So these things we needed to do in Pokokohara, these in Pikawara, and where do we find that? Under tasks or what? Mapping the archipelago. Oh look, we have found the uncharted island around, uh, not Port Marge. Here. We found the first island, east of Tikawara. I found an Ingwithan ruin dedicated to the good goddess Woodica. Makes claim of three islands forming a rough approximation of a triangle around Tikawara. So this is the first of the triangle around Tikawara. I believe this might be the next one. <laughs> uh, we have to go over here. A rough yeah that's that's our quest that's the next island in the hall of the unseen and maybe then here we might find something so that's the next next thing that we should go for what an adventure we're on thank you for watching and happy gaming to you Next time, we're looking for the next part of the triangle. Maybe here. And then we'll go to the Hall of the Unseen. There's also Fergist. 
a three red skull pirate guarding this we'll see if we can get there and do away with him i'm a little bit skeptical as this is part of the damned of course but we'll do our utmost thank you for watching and happy gaming to you we'll see each other in the next episode have a great time until next time and happy gaming this is Immanuel Khan signing out see you soon